Hello everyone and welcome to the third section, making your Photoshop design responsive. The name of the first video from this section is getting started with responsive design of web projects. So basically in this video you are going to learn what does responsive mean. Responsive web design is an approach to web design that makes web pages render well on a variety of devices and window or screen sizes. Content, design and performance are necessary across all devices to ensure usability and satisfaction. So let's imagine that the responsive content is something like water that is put into different objects. So as you can see on this image here, we have a laptop, we have smaller device, we have bottle and so on and so on. But the water still uh, takes some shape uh, inside all these different items or devices in our case. So in order to create responsive uh, web design, we will need to make a content that is fluid and that can fit inside different uh, screen resolutions and screen sizes. We're going to create a web design for a specific resolution. Photoshop allows us to set specific conditions for the resolution that the design is going to be rendered on using different uh, artboards. And uh, we're going to show some examples in this video how you are going to be able to add artboards that are going to represent devices with different screen resolutions. So let's open Photoshop now. And as you can see, I have this preset uh, website template open here. This is the home page of a website. You can see very clearly the header section. We have a very big uh, slider section with some headings and action button. Also, we have another heading with some text, three different boxes with uh, information. After that, we have block section and of course uh, the footer which is important for every specific uh, website and web page the other thing that you can see on this uh, home page uh, are the guidelines that are placed here so you can see if you count there are commonly 12 columns so why 12 columns uh, the grid system is usually made up by 12 columns uh, for example if you're working with bootstrap after exporting this uh, project to html and css you're going to notice that the responsive grid is made up by 12 separated columns so uh, what is uh, their role in the whole responsive thing so uh, let's take i'm going to use the selection tool let's take for example this info box here i'm going to zoom in a little bit Let's take the first info box. So we have one, two, three, four columns. Four columns are separating uh, every single info box on this home page. So, for example, if I take from here to here, we will count exactly four separated columns. But let's imagine that we are going to use this website on a smaller device. For example, we are going to use it uh, on a mobile device. It is not going to look very clearly because if I zoom out, this is the way you're going to see the website on a mobile version. For example, this could be the size of your uh, iPhone or Android phone uh, screen. And uh, you can see that uh, all the content is uh, almost not readable from uh, this point of view. So this is the important role of the responsive design when we're opening this um, homepage, this website on a mobile screen. These four columns are going to be transformed uh, into 12 columns in order to have uh, all the items inside this info box enlarged and to be easy to be read. So the thing that I'm going to do now in this video is adding a new artboard with specific dimensions that are going to be, for example, of a tablet size device. So how I'm going to do this, as you can see here in the layers panel, I'm going to expand it a little bit. As you can see in the layers panel, we have artboard one, which contains uh, all the content that is uh, to see here. So I'm going to use the menu icon here, pressing on it, and I'm going to select new artboard. After that, you can set the name of this artboard. I'm going to just keep it artboard two. And we have the option to set the preset width and height of this new artboard. So if I press here, you're going to notice that we have a very rich variety of uh, screen resolutions. So in our case, we're going to do a tablet version of this website. I'm going to select, let's say, iPad mini. Pressing OK. And now we have successfully added our new artboard too. This is going to be the screen size of a tablet. And now I'm going to move the whole content from the first artboard to the second one in order to show you what is going to happen if our design is not responsive ready. So I'm selecting everything from artboard one, right click 
and duplicating. I'm going to select the destination Arbor to be Arbor 2. Pressing OK again. And now we have successfully moved the whole content from the Arbor 1 to the second Arbor. And as you can see here, it doesn't look very good because the half of the content is invisible. And exactly this thing is going to happen to you if you have not set up the responsive content of your website. So there is an option of the content to be cut in half and not visible at all. And we don't want to do this. This is the reason why we are going to discover in this section how to create responsive content for your web projects in Photoshop. You can see that there are a lot of different resolutions. So for example, we have some uh, most commonly used resolutions for web design for example the first one is full hd the second one is hd combined with the third one and so on and so on and depending on the screen resolution we are going to find the most common for large devices for laptops for tablets for mobiles and uh, on this way we are going to find the approximate uh, dimensions of the screen sizes in order to develop our perfect uh, grid content of our web project this video is an extended introduction to the topic of creating a responsive web design using Photoshop. You have learned the basics of responsive web design, the way of preparing different designs for specific resolutions and organizing all layers and groups in a great way. Thank you for watching.